New solo agency god mode glitch. Let's begin. First off, I'd like to say that this variation of the glitch only works on PlayStation. If you're on Xbox, I'll leave a link in the description of another god mode glitch that you can use. But anyways, if you are on PlayStation, bookmark the two jobs that are in the description and restart your GTA. If you don't want to spend hours grinding heists and glitches, then check out Zerdiax.net. Zerdiax offers fast delivery modded accounts and account boosting for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC ranging from 10 million to 750 million dollars as well as RP level 120 and more. With great prices and highly rated reviews, you can't go wrong with Zerdiax. Treat yourself today with a GTA modded service from Zerdiax. The link will be down in the description below. Now go to your interaction menu and turn the jobs on so that way you can see the job blip on the ground here. And what we're going to do is just simply go onto the blip. Also make sure that you're on fidelity mode whenever you're doing this glitch. You can turn it back on performance max later. But right now we need it on fidelity mode. Pretty much we're trying to slow the game down as much as possible. Open up your pause menu. Go to the online tab. Playlists. My bookmarked playlists. And you should see one that's called agency GM. You're going to tap X on that once. It's going to bring up this alert right here. Now we're going to start spamming right on the D-pad. And whenever you're ready, you're going to accept this alert while still spamming right on the D-pad. You can stop spamming around the d-pad whenever you've made it inside the clouds. One of two things will happen. You'll get an alert saying that the job has failed to load. That means that you need to try again. Or you'll get loaded into a job. If you get loaded into a job, then that means that you've done the glitch correctly. Now you can go inside the agency. Now whenever you're inside the agency, you should see a white job just like how I see in the video. Now go into first person and slowly inch up to this assistance desk. Be careful not to touch the job just yet because if you touch the job, you'll get instantly loaded into a job and that's not what we want. Inch up to it, get as far away from the table as you can while still having access to that assistance menu. So once you've set that up, you're going to look where I do in the video, just slightly to the right. Because as soon as we enter this job blip, it's going to load us into a job and we need as much time as possible to do something else before we enter that job. Hopefully this makes sense later, but just look to the right where I do in the video. And now listen to this part very carefully. What we're going to do is use your L3 stick to move forward, sprint at the same time, or if you have auto sprint on, that'll work as well. Anyways, we're going to sprint, and as soon as you see your character moving, you're going to press right on the D-pad, click up on the D-pad once, so that way you can go to that SUV menu, and then you're going to double tap X so you can enter the SUV surface. So I'm going to put it in slow motion for you guys. We're going to sprint. As soon as you see your character moving, you're going to press right on the D-pad to get onto that assistance desk menu. You're going to press up on the D-pad once, and then you're going to click SUV service twice. If you fail the attempt, you're going to open up your contacts and you're going to call Simeon or any other NPC for a job. You're going to then join the job that they give you, and then just back out, and then you can repeat the glitch from the beginning where you go back outside and do that job lip thing with the playlist. If you've had a successful attempt, you'll get put inside this animation. And during this animation, you should be able to pull out your phones. Press up on the D-pad. If you're able to pull out your phone, then it's most likely going to be a successful attempt. If you don't, it's going to be another fail attempt. So just call an NPC for a job, join the job, leave the job, and start again from the beginning. But that's the whole glitch, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out my website. Today I have a new solo auto shop god mode glitch in GTA 5 Online to get your vehicles into god mode. So I first would like to say that this glitch is solo, however it will be infinitely easier if you have a friend, you'll see why later. But anyways, you can do this solo, so go into your auto shop whenever you're ready, and register as a CEO. Now we're going to go up to this board right here, make sure that you have the lock icon on this job at the very bottom. So we're going to hover over this third job here with the lock on it, and now we're going to join Anawak. So if you are going to be using a friend, then invite him to the auto shop before doing this part. But anyways, I just joined Anawak, you're going to get this alert to pop up, except the first alert. Accept a second, and then wait three seconds on this third alert, and then accept it. You should now spawn in back on the board. Now this is where your friend comes in. Pretty much you're on the board, but you're actually able to walk around normally. And your friend needs to guide you to the vehicle that you want to turn into god mode. You can do this completely solo, but it is really difficult. You still get alerts on the top left of the screen for prompts, so you can buy candy from the vending machine or sit down. You'll get those d-pad alerts, so you kind of know where you are. But that's all that you have to work with. So I'm just going to hop on my second console, which is where my friend is at. And I'm just going to use his vision to get to the car that I want. But anyways, once you've been guided to that car that you want to turn to god mode, open up your interaction menu, go to secure serve, and retire from being a CEO. And we're going to go up and down a couple times until it says on the bottom right, you get that prompt to say launch mission. So now I'm in the car, I've quit as a CEO, and now I'm going to click launch mission. You can now spawn in the car that you want to turn to god mode. And let's go ahead and test out see if it's in god mode. As you guys can see, it is completely invincible. It doesn't even flinch to an explosive. 
I'd also like to add, we are currently having a promotion on Zodiac, so you can get a $10 million money boost for only $5. Link for that will be down in the description below. PlayStation players only, $5 samples just to test the site out, limited time only.